everyone, it's Terry from Terry Scrapbooks. I have a design team project for JNS Hobbies and Crafts to share with you today. It's using the Disney Frozen Papers. JNS Hobbies and Crafts carries these in the store. All these hold because I cut out pieces and used them in the album. You'll see later what I do with them. But there's a little story behind the paper collection and me receiving it. I did a challenge for Crafty Chiquita here on YouTube for doing a superhero layout. And uh, I didn't win, but she sent me these papers and some other goodies along with it anyway. And I knew JNS Hobbies and Crafts carried this paper pad in the store, so I asked if I could use this as my design team project, and Shelly said yes. Okay, so we start out with the cover. When I started doing this, I went through all my Christmas stuff and dug out every snowflake I could find. <laughs> so I've got a little, lot of different snowflakes in here. These are plastic snowflakes, button snowflakes, that I had, I had a big package of, many different sizes. And this, if you can see it, is an acetate snowflake, silver snowflake. And I fussy cut out Eliza and Emma in 3D so that they are popped up a little. And this is a fabric flower. These flowers were made by a friend of mine. These are Prima flowers. These are from the floral department at Michael's. This is a button. I got it, or some jewelry thing. I got it at Michael's. It looked kind of like a snowflake. This is a Tim Holtz or a Sizzix dye snowflake border. I layered it on glitter cardstock. Got two colors of glitter cardstock. And the spine is some Prima trim and some lace I had in my stash, lavender lace I had in my stash. Back is plain. On the first page, I used the Spellbinders Majestic Labels 25 to make this frame. And you can Take out this piece, use it as a template, cut your picture to fit, and slide it back in. This comes out. Journaling tag. I had this in my stash, my Christmas stuff. This is some eyelet eyelash yarn. Eyelash yarn. I use the Spellbinders Snowflake. Create flake three to cut out some of these snowflakes, like this one and this one. And then I layered it up on some stickers that Crafty Chiquita had sent me with the package. They're frozen stickers. This is some stickers I had in my stash. And here's what I did with one of the pieces I cut out of the front cover. Janus Hobbies and Crafts sent these cameo frames from Tim Holtz. So I used this to create this little cameo charm of Elsa. It opens like this, big tag pulls out here. You can put picture here, two four by four pictures here. This pulls out journaling tag. These snowflakes uh, I had in my stash and they're layered on top of some more of the Spellbinder snowflakes. This page I featured Elsa and some of the snowflake buttons. Here is some Darcy bling on a roll I stuck on here next to the eyelash yarn. JNS Hobbies and Crafts carries the bling. This opens up. There's a pocket here with a little embossed folder here. This is a 
Jane has Harvey's and Crafts, Carrie's is Darcy. Oblong doily embossing folder. Can you open this up? I can put pictures inside. There's two photo mats, four by six. Four by six. And this little doily is This little doily is from Dovecraft, 40 paper lace doilies. Jay and his hobbies and crafts carries those. This photo mat comes out. It's held in with a magnet. Big 5x7 photo mat. And some doilies. And the Tim Holtz snowflake. Snow flurries. <laughs> Die. He used for that. And it's cut out with glitter cardstock. Next page. This photo mat fills out and we have another charm with Anna on it. Big photo mat. Fussy cut out Anna here. These are snowflakes from my stash. And we got these here. Are these stickers? Um, Crafty Chiquita had given me those. More various. Oh, there's more of those other stickers. These aren't really sticker stickers. They're re repositional stickers. So I used glossy accents on the back of them and stuck them to cards up stock and fussy cut them out. This is a sticker. She said the Anna stickers were actual stickers. So I just fussy cut them out from after I put them on card stock. Here's Elsa, and this is fun. I had these sparkly foam stickers in my stash, and I made it look like they're coming out of her, like she's casting her magic spell. And uh, I left, I glued them back onto the acetate with glossy, glossy accents so that, you know, they look like they're suspended there. You can see it. Reflecting. Uh, Crafty Chiquita gave me this snowflake, and I just fussy cut Elsa out and put her on cardstock so she's got some strength. And we have a journaling tag with Olaf on it. And this is a smaller photo mat double-sided. Here's a big 5x7 photo mat, double-sided. Smaller photo mat. And the embellishments can go up under these, I mean, the photographs can go up under these embellishments. This opens like this. Put a photo here. Big photo mat here. This opens like this. We have a waterfall. And these edges were punched with the Martha Stewart snowflake punch here. And here's two smaller photo mats with a journaling spot on the back. Or a picture can go there. Page. We have, is that, who's that? Is that Spin? I never remember his name. In the charm again. Two photo mats open like this with Olaf in the middle. Next page. Little journaling tag. 
and a photo mat. Another photo mat. Open like this. A big space for pictures over here. Another doily. Some more snowflakes that I had. Here's a journaling tag. Two small places for 4x4 photos. And this page opens like this with another charm. Pull off on that charm. Opens like this with a big journaling spot tag here with eyelash yarn on it. This was another Martha Stewart punch, border punch. This opens like this. There's another sticker that Crafty Chiquita sent me. Another of the Tim Holtz border die. This is held in with a magnet and comes out. 5x7 photo mat. And the last page, it's a big photo mat with a photo with a tag that pulls out that has a little tag inside for journaling or photo or stick other things in there. And that's it. And this album will be for sale on eBay. And I'll leave the links to JNS Hobbies and Crafts in the description so you can go to the store and get this paper and lots of other good things. Thank you, Laura, for sending me the paper pad and inspired me to create this album. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and I hope you all have a really great day.